I think the people who are friends with me on Facebook, there is someone that I'm friends with on Facebook that is Casper Anonymous and fucking Internet Collective. I'm trying to figure out who it could be, though, because these people are stealing my videos without my permission. And uh, I don't like that one bit. All right, I'm hanging out with my buddy Alex Anderson. How's it going? That's fucking bullshit. Somebody's just throwing the fucking video out of me. Yeah, they're stealing my Facebook Live videos without my permission. Right. And it's like, why the fuck are you stealing my videos without my permission? I don't give a fuck if I'm famous or not. I didn't give you permission to fucking steal my Facebook Live videos. And because the videos aren't on my YouTube channel, I can't flag them for stealing my content, unfortunately. Because YouTube's going to be like, well, where are these videos? Oh, they're on a different platform? Well, shit, don't know what to tell you then. And there's some videos I delete off my Facebook because I think, you know, maybe they're not the best for posting. Like I had a video where I slapped myself repeatedly for trying to eat a fucking sandwich because eating disorders are a bitch, let me tell you. And then two seconds after I posted that video on Facebook, I deleted it. And then I look over on YouTube and they have the video of me slapping myself for eating a breakfast sandwich, and it's like, God damn it. So I blocked Internet Collective and Casper Anonymous from my YouTube. Because quite frankly, it's bullshit. You're going to fucking steal my videos without my permission. I'm just fucking jealous because they're not popular or famous and fucking. I don't even know if it's that. I just no. I'm not talking about Reddit. I'm talking about these YouTubers that go by the name uh, Internet Collective and the Casper Anonymous. These assholes are fucking stealing my Facebook Live videos without my permission and uploading it to their own channel. And they're literally using me to get views on their shitty channel. It's pathetic. Yeah, Trevor, that's the only thing I can figure. Is somehow I have Casper Anonymous and Internet Collective added on Facebook. And, and, um, well, I don't know who it is, you know, but it is what it is. Well, hell yeah, Nigel. I'm glad you liked it. Nigel R. Pearson says, Hey, I tried a Cobra's Mist last night. It was good. B hell yeah, Blue Moon Beer and Mountain Dew. You can't go wrong with that. Nah. 
Unfortunately, yeah, that could be why. Julio says, well, this is my theory about that. Since not everyone has access to your Facebook Live videos, they steal the videos so everyone else can see them. I don't know if that's true or not. It's just my theory. Yeah, they should ask for permission, and they don't. That's the thing of it. I mean, if they would have come to me first personally and said, hey, um, you know, people don't have access to all your videos and they want to see them, so could you, could we have your permission to put them on our channel? I would have been like, well, that I can understand, but they didn't even bother doing that. You know, that's what irks me. Right. Don't blame me on that one. But that is unfortunately the downside to being somewhat famous, I guess. Oh, no, 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 that's why I loaded some tobacco, because I know we're both Joe's and versus nicotine. Right, right. No doubt on that. I'm going to grab this one here. Man. Hello, Amanda. How are you doing? It just, uh, you know, and that's the thing of it. Facebook and is they didn't even ask my permission to steal my videos. They could have at least asked. I see totally where you're coming from with that one. Yeah. The Facebook Live ones though are most likely being screen ripped as they happen. Well, it could be better, it could be worse. Yeah, fucking idiots screen ripping my Facebook Live videos. That kind of ruins it, you know, like, there's a lot of people who don't get to watch my uh, Facebook Live videos, and that's part of, you know, the exclusiveness of it, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. Uh, you know, if you want to watch me, you, you got to be my friend on Facebook, that sort of thing, you know what I'm saying? And that kind of exclusiveness is what I thought would make the Facebook Live videos interesting, but it doesn't make it very exclusive if people are ripping off my videos without my permission. And because you're stealing them from a different platform, YouTube's not going to do shit about it. Just like always. And... Hey, Zach, what's cracking? Death Main says, just use it as a promo and have a big sign with your real YouTube URL behind you. So when it gets ripped, it's like advertising. Yeah, here's the thing. That, that That is a good idea, but most people have come to recognize me on YouTube by now. So even if I don't do that, people automatically know who I am and what have you. Uh, not a whole lot, Zachary Large. What are you up to? Bullshitting on Facebook Live. That's what I'm doing. Discussing some... <laughs> Excuse me, some some manners that I need to a matter of addressing. It 
It's a good idea, though, don't get me wrong, Mr. Main, but at the same time, if it says, you know, yeah, so. Either way, it's exposure for my YouTube, the way you shape, either way you shape it, you know. And it just means I have to be a bit more careful on what I post on social media. And sometimes when I get hungry, I get a little bit cranky and overly emotional. That's the only way I could explain. Like if people are people are going to see this video of me slapping myself for trying to eat a breakfast sandwich. You know, and that's just what I mean by that. I have an eating disorder and sometimes I get really cranky and overly emotional when I don't eat. So, you know, it just doesn't paint a very awesome picture of me, though, to be honest. And uh, fucking people obsessing over me. And all them cigarette butts in this ashtray are not only put out, but empty of tobacco. That's something I do on the regular, is make sure that, uh, you know, my ashtrays are empty. Well, I am kind of hungry right now, because I haven't eaten today, but... I'll eat later. I'm not worried about it right now. There's a reason why I'm so freaking skinny. It's because I hardly eat. <laughs> Every time I do eat, it all goes to my biceps. Because sometimes I feel guilty about eating. Like, why should I get to eat when someone else is starving? You know? Stupid, but, you know. Like, why should I fucking eat and gain a couple pounds and no chick's gonna want me if I get fat? You know, it's a combination of those two things. Like, yeah. Um, well, I have a profile set up on Etsy, but I don't have a shop set up yet because I got to finish, um, making them wands, but the finished product looks really good in my opinion. So I buy this for 20 bucks. Thanks, man. Mm -hmm. Yeah, unfortunately, all, all my liars are pretty much dead. I can look at my piggy bank and see if I got any change. Enough for another liar, maybe. Hmm, I might. I might have some money in my piggy bank all to dig out later and... Walk to the closest gas station and get a lighter. That'd probably be Lothan John. Yeah, one of the two. I know there's places I can go that are even closer than that. Sure. Yeah, I'm not worried about it right now, though. Hey, Tina. I've been trying to get a hold of Scotty to see what time him and Phil and y'all are coming over. And Scotty wants to celebrate his birthday a day early, and he doesn't want to celebrate it at his house because of his nephews. So he's like, 
asking if he can come over to my place to celebrate his birthday a day early. And I said, yeah, you know, you don't want to drink around your nephew. He's like, I get that. You know what I'm saying? Hmm. You ever consider growing your own tobacco and creating custom strains? Um, I haven't. Oh, she, you, my whiskers are long enough. I could probably do a baseline. Hmm. <laughs> Shit, I'm getting a little scraggly anyways. I'm gonna have to uh, step off camera for a second to go fucking shave. Get my baseline going again. <clears throat> this big old son of a bitch right here. <laughs> fucking call it dog collars with like the one little strip of tiny ass leather and hardly any spikes wrapping around it that's cute this thing has two layers of spikes instead of being made out of cheap leather it's actually made out of fucking dog collar material, so it's going to be a lot stronger. And it, it doesn't want to pop back on, does it? At least not very easily. And I, I have a hole in here for wearing this damn thing. I just got to find it. When you're so popular on social media, people steal your videos without your permission. Just because it'll give their fucking channel views. <laughs> Trying to get this thing on and it just doesn't want to connect. <sighs> no, I didn't get any random calls yesterday. Aaron Riker says, did you get any random calls yesterday, Josh? Someone was, on Steve's video was giving up my number. Really? That's kind of pathetic, to be honest, when motherfuckers be doing that shit, because they're miserable fucktards who have nothing better to do with their sad, miserable lives than, oh, let's make this autistic's life more difficult than it already is. <clears throat> yeah, pretty much fuck the drama. <sighs>
All right, Sky. Thanks, man. Have a great day at work. Oh, that's glad. I'm glad Steve blocked that asshole. Amen to that, Thomas Welch. Amen to that. Thomas Welch is like, hashtag fuck the drama. Amen to that shit, brother. Amen to that shit. Fucking A, man. I fucking hate drama on and off of social media. I just, I can't stand it. I, if, if it's on a TV show, fine. It's for a dramatic plot twist. I get that. But drama in real life, there's just no need for it. And there are some stupid motherfuckers who are just so sad and bored with their lives. There are people out there who deliberately start drama on purpose because they want to see people fight. Because they get off on that. And I'll never truly understand the logic behind that. Especially when you ask yourself, how would you feel if someone had lied and manipulated you and your friends into some drama? And if you ask yourself that question and you think, hey, I feel like a piece of shit, stupid retard if someone did that to me. Well, then imagine how the people you're doing it to feel when you're looping them into some bullshit. And if you have negative people that start drama and try to ruin your life, get them out of your fucking life, man. You got people in your life that start drama. There's really absolutely no freaking need for them because they're obnoxious fuck fuckwads. Obnoxious fuckwads. Anybody who deliberately tries to start drama in your life is a fucktard and a fuckwad and a dumb fuck. And life is hard enough as it is. You don't need some random fucking asshole in your life making it worse by pinning you and your friends against each other for their own sick entertainment. Especially when you got disorders and shit. Exactly. And there are people who will do it because they can, not because they have anything to gain from it. There are people who will start drama just because they can. And then when these people start complaining about how nobody wants to be their friend or nobody wants to help them, it's like, well, you do it to yourself, B. When you deliberately choose to start drama with other people and doing it to a point where it literally uh, draws people away from you because of it. You know what I'm saying? Uh-huh. Like, legitly, it's bullshit. And the sooner these people realize that their bullshit impacts not just them, but everyone else around them, the better off they'll be. And they realize it impacts them, and then what they need to realize is that the reason why nobody wants to be around them is because of their drama starting bullshit. And there are days I wake up and I say to myself, boy, I wish I never would have started YouTube. I wish I never would have started making videos. There were days I just fucking wake up and I say to myself, how much easier my life would be if I wasn't famous. People wouldn't harass me nearly as much. <sighs> this damn thing doesn't want to go on. <sighs> I forget which hole it is again that I have for it. There's a freaking hole in this collar that I use for the buckle here. I'm trying to find it because I forget which one it is.
I don't fucking remember which fucking hole I have on here. Oh, look at that. I pulled through this one right here with the pipe tool. Let's see if that fucking helps. Hashtag fuck the drama. That's probably the best hashtag I've heard in a minute. Because it's the fucking truth. Right? Sick and tired of all the people and their bullshit. Some people just can't handle when I spit the truth. Like Babe Ruth in a candy bar, gonna go far like a rock star, bust a mad flow, say fuck the drama and fuck the hoe. Yo, yo, yo. Try to get my spike collar on, but nothing's fucking working. None of these holes are puncturing after I adjusted it, and this shit's pissing me off. Look at all these fucking haters when I scoff. Hmm. I guess instead of trying to uh, puncture it through one of those holes, just kind of push the buckle down flat and do that. And there. It's not on all the way, but it's at least on, and it'll make it easier to take off, too. Uh. <clears throat> I'm just talking in general, like, hashtag fuck the drama. shave real quick. I'll be right back, people. I can't shave live on camera. I don't know why. <laughs> <laughs>
Uh, sorry about the wait, folks. There we go. Clean shaven. For the most part. All that scruff I shaved off my face, but I left the scruff on my chin alone and I shaved around it. So it lines up with my mustache. Oh, you mean like that, huh? Yeah. <laughs> wow. Um, that would be Alex's ex-wife, actually. Ah, oh, man. I don't know. It's weird. I can shave in front of a mirror, but I can't shave in front of a camera. Like, I try it, and I'm doing, eh, maybe it's because I see it moving in the camera that I'm just like, you know. In the mirror, I can look, and it stays still, kind of. I don't know, it's weird trying to see, shave while recording a video. There we go. Hopefully that, yeah, that should grow back in quite nicely. Yeah. Don't look like much now, like maybe 5 o'clock shadow going, but... Yeah. Give that a couple of weeks to grow out and watch what happens. Well, uh, homeboy Scotty wanted to celebrate his birthday a day early at my place, and I said, yeah, that'd be fine. So maybe, I've been trying to get a hold of Scotty to figure out what time he's coming over and shit. What's that? Uh, I said, what did Jessica say? It says Jessica Anderson, something is Alex. Uh, Jessica asks, are you going to King's Corner? Uh, fuck, dude, I don't know why. Um, I really don't want to deal with that bitch's stanky-ass rank pussy. And fucking her bitching me out like she's my fucking mother when I'm almost 24 years old and she's only fucking 20. No, she's 21, if I remember correctly. So... That bitch trying to act like she's my fucking mom when my mom's clear in North Carolina. It's starting to aggravate me, and I don't need to, any stress or drama, especially from a sewer plant. So. <clears throat> I try not to laugh, but that shit. I don't care if she's on fucking line. I'm tired of it. I'm tired of the fucking drama because I don't need it with my fucking convulsions. No, man. Yeah. Yeah, I missed call from this guy, from the other Alex. <laughs> you went, bro? Eh, not much, man. What are you up to? Eh, not much. So you're on Facebook Live. What's up? Might have to come over? Not at all, dude. Come on over if you want to come hang out. All right. So, I'll get myself on. Right. What's the bad man? It's going to be Alex and Alex. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah, I'll see you when you get there when you get here. Alright, ladies. Does it tell you if they're active or if they're green, right? I think so, yeah. Yes, I don't care if she's fucking active, dude. I'm just sick of it. Well, from what you've been telling me, yeah. I don't even want to get into Alex's personal marriage deal. 
Like that's his that's his beef, not mine. <laughs> that? <coughs> Nothing personal with what? So I don't want to get into your personal business with you and it's between you and Jessica, yo. Oh, I know. <laughs> I just need to relieve some stress sometimes. I'm sorry. No, it's all good, bro. This is a uh, a rant zone. If you feel like you know, ranting and raving. Oh, you should hear me when I want when I, when I get on a roll, dude. And you should fucking hear me when I get on a roll. Facebook knows, don't you? Facebook. Fuck, you should hear me sometimes when I get on a roll, dude. Yeah. Especially when I'm nonstop fucking convulsing and pissed off. All right. And then when I, once I relieve the stress, oh, hey, look, they go away. Hmm. Which is fucking weird. Hey, bro, can I smoke some of that tobacco? Um, uh, if I have some in there, yeah, let's see. Yeah, I could use a smoke myself because, quite frankly, I just got done shaving my face and I left the scruff on my chin right here lined up with my mustache. So let that bitch grow out. So, like, your wife cheats on you. And you know what? She told me why she why she started to fuck Zach. Why is that? Because I decked her when she started choking me when I started to convulse. Well, you're having a seizure and someone's doing eh, 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 this to you. How Especially when they're sitting behind you and all your and your only defense is to fucking deck them. Yeah, I, I understand where I come from. It's, it's wrong to hit a woman. Dude, she's trying to choke you and you're having a seizure. That's that's not self right. Self-defense. Yeah, that's self-defense, dude. Come on. And that's what my mom told her. When she called my mom and said, oh, I'm going to call your mom and tell her you're hitting a woman. I told her, have right the fuck out. But you better be, be able and ready to explain to her why you did it. So. Let me see that flame is. Oh, yeah, sure. Who the fuck is this person calling me? I got a missed call from this other number. Uh, hold up, bro. What are you up to? Uh, I guess. All right. Well, let's just see you. I can't have too many people over because I got a thing I'm doing later here. All right, laters. Apparently, Zach wants to come over and hang out. I'll be civil. I mean, I'm not going to start no fucking drama in my apartment, you know. Me neither. But... But if it started, I know you'll tell him there's the door, my lord. Oh, Jessica says she has the twenty dollars he asked for you for. The twenty bucks you asked her for, she has it. That's why she asked if you'd be at King's Corner. Okay. Yeah, I'll be there. There you go. Um hopefully. Yeah, Jessica, he'll be at King's Corner later tonight, if you're going to be there. Uh, freaking A, man. I've been trying to get a hold of Scott all freaking day, and he's just not answering his phone. Uh, what are you doing? Is not available. At the tone, please record your message. When you've finished recording, you may hang up or press 1 for more options. To leave a callback number, press 5.
Hey, yo, birthday boy, give me a call back when you can. Get this shit figured out. All right, talk at you later. Uh. Well, here's the thing. If Scotty doesn't want to do a live stream during his birthday party, I'm not going to do that, you know. It would be sick, yeah, but... I'll catch at you later, Facebook. Got my face clean shaven. Got my, uh, the baseline for my goatee starting to grow back in. Most excellent. I'll chit chat with y'all later.